internet whistleblower website uh, WikiLeaks is suspending operations to focus on fundraising instead. Its founder, Julian Assange, speaking at a news conference in London, said that a financial blockade imposed by American financial institutions has cut off most of the website's funding. Now, artist Ivor Bennett now is at the conference. Well, there you go. WikiLeaks shut down by the banks and the big financial corporations. It comes to, to my mind, is uh, Anonymous going to step in and help them this time? Or are they too busy pitching tents? Let me know. See what you think. Okay. I don't cover money matters, uh, really. Hardly. A lot of it goes over my head. But uh, I can understand derivatives, as in they're a gamble. They're gambling with money and the odds are they're going to lose and the banks are going to go down pretty simple lots of interesting links underneath in the info if you want to go and check it out you've probably got more of a gist on this than i have so i'll leave it up to you There you go. UK Parliament debates installing of a black box on your computer. Uh, the EU M MEPs want everything you do online to be logged and saved. There you go. Not a lot you can say about that one. Links below. Okay, this is probably the most famous footage of the, the Wall Street Occupy uh, protests. Uh, the two girls that got pepper sprayed. Well, apparently now the, uh, the policeman's been brought to justice. If it is justice. You have a listen, tell me what you think. Further developments from the New York Times report that the New York Police Department has found that the deputy inspector who sprayed those four women with pepper spray at the beginning of the Occupy Wall Street movement uh, faces internal disciplinary actions that could cost him 10 days worth of pay. Well, there you have it. 10 days worth of pay. But I believe she, the two girls are seeking advice on whether to take the matter further, take it for criminal uh, actions. As always, the links are underneath. There's a couple of sites down there if you want to follow the Occupy protests. I suggest you go and check them out. Now, here's a particularly interesting piece. Shows you which side of the, Vat uh, which side of the field the Vatican are standing on. They want to centralise finances. A one world bank, if you will. And this after they've been speaking out about the Occupy protests as well. As always, I've put the links underneath. You go and check them out. Okay, big shout out to, to my girl Kippy Kim for bringing this story to me. Uh, is America or the US government uh, planning on doing a culling of 256 million people? I suggest you go uh, read the article. Links below, as with all of them. Make your own mind up. Okay, I've put this section in because I'm going to link two videos that I think you should really all go and see. And uh, these videos are about the Occupy protests. And I'm going to throw a th thank you out for, for one of them that was given to me by 10 Year Gear. Thanks, mate. But uh, they're both pretty much along the same lines. The fact that, you know, the protesters aren't coming across uh, very uh, PR friendly. 
you know, these big corporation bosses and the MPs, they all play this PR game really well. You know, they look they look tidy, they they look smart on TV. You know, that's what I'm trying to get at. And basically the protesters are too easy to make look like, you know, more mindless hippies. You know, one of them, the first video is a homeless man and he's complaining about where he's lived, you know, for months. Uh, for, you know, whatever reason, he's homeless. But he's complaining about the filth he's living in now the protesters have got there. If that doesn't strike home to you, what, what I'm getting at, you know, there's not a lot else I can say. And the second video is much along the same lines. You know, is is this really the the image you want to be portraying? So I'll leave it up to you to watch them and make your own mind up. And as with all the others, links are at the bottom. There's links down there that I've not spoke about. You might want to go and check them out. Thanks for watching. Sarah. This is strange. This is strange. This is strange.